we're here at the Gaza border and you can see in the distance some of the smoke from the burning tires and just beyond it uh, to the right of the smoke is the protest camp. On the second Friday of the great return march, this is next to Beit Hanun and there's beyond the smoke uh, 500 or 1,000 people. In the last week, 17 people were killed during these marches. We're right along the border of uh, Gaza City here, uh, and you can see it's, it's quite peaceful in this area. You can see those houses are obviously in Gaza, and the road that we're driving on is inside the border of Israel. Uh, and you can see there's not some massive security presence or um, massive protests at this point here. Looking at Gaza City from an area in a field near the Carney, Old Carney Crossing near Anachal Oz. And we can see dozens of ambulances and uh, hundreds of people, maybe a thousand people, have gathered here and they've lit off a bunch of tires. You can hear uh, probably some sort of a drone or some sort of surveillance in the background uh, buzzing around. Um, I think one thing that people don't necessarily appreciate if they haven't seen it is the fact this is not a peaceful demonstration, as is often portrayed as by Hamas. and is what the media often put out um, because again they don't necessarily understand it even if they're close up. Um, what this is is a, a deliberate and specific intent by a major terrorist organization recognized around the world as terrorists to penetrate the border of the state of Israel and to kill innocent civilians on the other side of it. We're here now next to the next to Gaza City and you can see the smoke is getting worse and there's a lot more activity here uh, happening now. They've got fire trucks coming in. Here the protesters on the other side and the fire is blowing over and um, because of that Israel's brought up a giant fan and some fire trucks to water it down. We can see all the people on the other side very close to the fence and we've heard some tear gas and other types of uh, ordnance going off. So the situation is the most serious it's been at this point. There's a fire truck up there shooting water trying to put out this fire that's drifted over the border a bit. And we can see a lot of people in the background. seen some Molotov cocktails being thrown actually on the other side and we've seen a lot of tear gas and, and stun grenade, some stun grenades going off so 